Do you want to learn how to create your own custom prosthetics? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the first step, which is to create your stone positive mold out of UltraCal 30. I'm going to be showing you all the products you need and how to create it. So first off, you're going to need some gloves. This is to protect your hands from the UltraCal 30. You're going to need a one inch chip brush, and this is to apply the first coat. Also a 5 8 inch wooden dowel rod. You can find this at a Lowe's or Home Depot. Also a container, probably something bigger than this, but this is all I have. Definitely something flexible so we can pop that stone out once it cures. You're also going to need some burlap. You're going to want to cut these in two little squares. And also is some Pam spray. This is going to be a release for the Ziploc um, container. Of course, you're going to need some UltraCal 30. This comes by a 50 pound bag, which is ginormous. So I always put it in a little waste basket just to make it a little bit easier to carry around and use. I also have a sifter. This isn't necessary. I just find that it's a little bit easier to get an even coat throughout the water. So that's where you're going to be needing. You also, of course, need something to put the stone into, so that's where this life cast comes into play, which is going to be another video, and you're going to need this to put your stone in. So let's begin this tutorial. We're going to begin by sifting in the UltraCal 30 evenly into the water. The warmer the water, the faster it will take to cure. The colder the water, the slower it will take to cure. So I kind of like to go right in the middle, warm temperature, sifting it evenly until you see a dry riverbed form. Once you see a riverbed, then you are ready to mix. Using your hand in a claw-like shape, the claw! Does anybody know Lie Liar, Jim Carrey? No, nobody? Okay. Well, you're gonna start mixing this and then you're gonna apply your one inch chip brush and kind of make it splash. This is what is called the splash coat. And this is gonna help to get all the details and all the fine things. So this is the most important coat out of anything because there's been times when I wasn't as careful and then once I pulled it out, it had bubbles in it and it was kind of a waste and I couldn't use it. So you wanna make sure that you're also blowing into the stone as you see here and just kind of popping any bubbles that are gonna that you know are captured in there you want to make sure you're blowing those all out you want to make sure that your first layer is set before you even move on to your second layer it usually takes about 15 minutes but you want to make sure that the stone is completely cool and hardened and then go on to the next step which is using the burlap this is going to kind of make it stronger and give it more support. This is called your reinforcement layer and you're basically applying burlap along the perimeter of the face just to kind of thicken it up and make it stronger. At this point, now you're ready to put that dowel rod in the center of the head. What this is gonna do is basically creating a handle so that you can then pull it out and also just kind of carry around through the handle. I am reinforcing the handle by placing burlap around it as you see here. I'm placing burlap around the rod just to give it some extra support so that it doesn't break when you pull it out. Here I am measuring to make sure that I have a uniform one inch thickness around the perimeter. As you see here, some areas were great, some areas were one inch perfectly, but this side over here wasn't. I needed a little bit more, so here is where I'm kind of kind of do the beauty coat, the last of it, wherever I need more thickness. I'm gonna apply it and I'm just gonna smooth it out, smooth it all around and make sure that everything is reinforced and smooth and uniform. So this is what it should look like, completely uniform, smooth and thick. You're gonna to wanna to wait till that completely cools and hardens, and then you'll be ready to pull it out of the life jacket, but not before you knock over those borders where it kind of spilled over. You wanna make sure that you can pull that silicone piece completely off the stone. Moment of truth, moment of truth, and we're golden. It looks great. 
This is what it should look like. Has like a bubble or two, but nothing that's not too crazy. You're gonna wanna sand all of this down really nice and smooth. Um, but this is what the product is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys wanna see the next step, which would then of course be to sculpt the prosthetic using some clay, then make sure you comment down below and let me know so I can get that going for you guys. And also like and subscribe and thank you for watching.